Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's 5-Minute Fridays. So I think we can all agree that every single day feels the same, and it all just sort of merges into the next day. So it's just day. Um, and as a result, I am finding myself not really distributing my little videos on Fridays. So I apologize, but at the end of the day, who really cares? Okay, moving on. So this week, I wanted to share with you a really fun resource that I discovered I actually discovered something like this a while ago, but I never really used it. And then since we've been in this isolation thing in our home and cooking a lot more maybe than we normally do, I wanted to find something that could be really, really helpful. And so I ended up using it for myself. And I'm going to show you on my computer in a little bit how it all works. But the point is, is that I think the reason home cooking gets so tiresome and boring and annoying besides the labor of it all is that we find ourselves doing the same thing over and over again, right? We have like a rotation that we all do. Spaghetti, taco Tuesday, breakfast for dinner, whatever. There, It's like the same rotation. And part of the reason that's nice is because you don't have to think. You don't have to be creative and come up with a plan and grocery shop and all that kind of stuff. So I want to share with you this uh, resource that I came across that could really, really be helpful because I don't know about you, but I have like a whole kind of pantry full of non-perishable stuff and now I want to use it. But it's like, what do I do with quinoa besides just cook quinoa and then it's boring um, or, you know, whatever ingredient you might have. So check out this little trick and I'll be back on the other side. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys. I came across this website. I actually did a little research to find um, apps or websites that um, help you kind of come up with recipes based on what you currently have in your fridge or pantry. And this one came up, and it's a website, supercook.com, or an app, and they work together. So let me just show you how this works. Over here on the right, you can add various things that are in your pantry or fridge, okay? So in all the different categories. And you can sort of go through and do that if you'd like. But here is what is really, really cool. If you click over here to key ingredients, now I use this as an example because this is actually what happened to me the, the other night. I had bell peppers, ground turkey, and quinoa. And I wanted to try to come up with a recipe with those three things. So you add those in as your key ingredients and then look at all these recipes that came up. Now granted, you do need other things in addition to those three ingredients, but the idea is I've got bell peppers, ground turkey, and quinoa. What can I make with those? And like, for example, look at this recipe, turkey, quinoa, mushroom, um, meatloaf. This looks amazing. So I do need some other things like onion and barbecue sauce, but it's likely you have these things in your fridge. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys because this is just a great way to take a few things that you might have in your fridge or pantry and come up with something creative that isn't that difficult. Um, okay, so I hope that really helps. So how cool was that? I know that some of you are kind of rolling your eyes like I don't really wanna cook off of a recipe, but here is the deal. A lot of these recipes I found were really, really quite easy. Um, that meatloaf recipe, you know, obviously did not have that many ingredients in it. All of them I already had except for mushrooms. That was the only thing that I didn't have. But the reality is, is that you can make a lot of these recipes and cut one thing out or, you know, substitute something else so that you're not having to go to the grocery store just for one or two items, which we're not really supposed to do anyway. So I really, really hope this helps. Um, creativity is sort of the key to making this all really interesting, but it's hard to be creative in this when we're in this monotonous cyclical pattern every single day. So maybe some of these recipes are for the weekend, um, but I just thought it might be really helpful to give you guys an idea of how to take what you have and come up with something a little more creative than just the basic thing that you cook all the time. Okay, so I hope everyone is staying sane and safe and healthy. And as always, I'm so grateful for those of you who are watching and um, sending healthy vibes your way. Okay, till next time. Bye.